Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Brian. And uh, today we're, and I'm from an organization called the Gaia Project. Has anyone ever heard the word Gaia before? Yeah? You have? Yes. Do you know what it means? No. No? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. So Gaia is the, uh, the ancient Greek god of Earth. So the Gaia Project means the Earth Project. So we're an environmental organization, and what we do, and we work with schools around New Brunswick, and we try and do hands-on projects with, uh, with students to try and improve uh, the impact of the, uh, this school on, uh, on the environment. So today we're going to be looking at, uh, at waste in school and trying to find out if we can come up with ways to reduce the amount of waste we use and make it so that we have less of an environmental <laughs> impact on the, uh, on the environment. So, who, what is a waste audit? Does anyone know what the word audit means? Kind of a complicated term. Has anyone ever heard it before? Okay. And so, usually when we think about when, when people think about the word audit, they think about money, and they think about a key, and basically the audit tell means that we're keeping track of where the money is going. And so we're trying to look at someone's uh, bank account and say, well, you spent this much on that, you spent this much on this, this is how much money you had coming in. But well, we're going to try and do the same thing with waste. We're going to try and track where that waste is coming from and where it's going. So when we do a waste audit in the school, we're going to be looking at all the school's garbage. And uh, we were fortunate enough to, uh, to work with uh, the teachers here at the school. And we've collected all the garbage downstairs uh, since yesterday. And so today we're going to be going through that and finding out just what's in there, where it's coming from, and where we're sending it. And so when we do a waste audit, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to, take a, we're trying to take stock of just how much waste we produce as a school and what we do with it. So, what? Start on the other side. You pick up something and say, hmm, what is this? Look at the label. What would this be under? Would you do me a favor? Put that in the plastic. Read the label. There we go. And then we start on the outside. We go for the. Let's go for the big obvious thing. What is this? Plastic. A little bit of food. What do we do with the food that's in there? We have to scoop it out. We have tongs. So the food. Scoop into the food and then put that in plastic. When you recycle and we use and reduce, first of all, when you re use is the second part of, well, first of all, you should reduce because it's the best one out of reuse and recycle, and then reuse if you can't reduce because it's better than recycle, and then recycle is just getting rid of stuff. I think that we need to get a compost bin in each class because most of what we found in a garbage bag was mostly plastic and compost. There wasn't very many, very much metal, we just found a broken paper clip. I think that our school should work on composting and reducing the amount of plastic bags and straws we use. So we can see that uh, two of the biggest piles here are paper and plastic, both recyclables. Uh, things that we could uh, that, that we could send somewhere else instead of sending them to the landfill. Now back here is the paper that you did recycle. So this school is recycling paper, and you've got quite a lot of it. But you can see you're not getting all of it. There's still a fairly significant amount, a fairly large amount of paper that's still not being recycled. So maybe we can find ways to uh, to make sure that we get all of that at the school. So this last one right here. This is the actual garbage. So out of everything that was produced, only this really has to be uh, uh, actually sent to a landfill every day. We could really reduce it from all of this to just this pile right here. So quite a big reduction, right? Well, the reason I got involved in the Gaia project is through my employer, Irving Oil. And it's important for Irving Oil to assist the community and help young people especially develop and grow. What I think a project like this does for St. Rose School is I think it helps the students think beyond a day-to-day -day action as simple as, in this case, talking about waste, something that is an action we do every day, throwing something out, thinking about it in terms of what does it mean, 
what can I do to improve the environment? Environment's such a big topic, but when you're talking about something that is abstract, it's very difficult for young people to understand. Something like waste is tangible. So this was a hands-on activity, and the students were engaged by weighing and discussing what we can do to improve the school. So I think it's good because they get a true hands-on feel for environmentalism, but they also are tasked with, okay, what's the next step? Well, you know, seeing the enthusiasm that the children uh, put into this project today, and, I, and, and just the answers they came back with and the ideas they had, it's uh, going to be a lifelong experience that they carry with them, and I'm sure they're excited to put it into action and see it follow through in future years at St. Rose. Um, I think we need to start teaching the younger ones to get that habit of recycling and taking care of our earth and, and realizing that we are the future. These children are the future of our planet. And the earlier we instill that into them, then the more successful we'll be as a society. We currently are involved in various recycling initiatives. Um, probably the biggest benefit for us is going to be our enhancement to what we're currently doing with recycling in looking at what the kids were doing upstairs with the problem solving. I think that they will come up with some great ideas that will be implemented and hopefully in a doable way so that it isn't labor intensive for any one person. Well, I think environmentally it's an important piece given that they're citizens and going to be our future leaders and decision makers. Aside from that, I also think that giving kids an opportunity to look at something looking at facts, looking at hard, fast data, and then making decisions based on that data is really important. Um, it also enhances their problem-solving skills to come up with a solution to a problem that affects them immediately here at St. Rose School and then eventually in the bigger community. So I spent uh, several years in the engineering industry working on clean energy solutions. And uh, it started to frustrate me that uh, there were solutions out there that we could do to reduce our impact on the environment, but the, the public didn't really have the appetite to spend the money where it was needed. So I wanted to come back and do education programs uh, on energy and its impact on the environment. Um, as an engineer, I always learn best by doing things as opposed to reading about things. So I wanted to make sure that when we did something, it was all very solutions focused and having students actually, you know, have get their hands involved and really try and come up with solutions themselves that they could implement uh, within that school very easily. So we're trying to get it so that uh, students throughout their entire student career see it from various uh, points of view. So we find that waste auditing works really well at the elementary school level because it's very tangible, it's very hands-on. At the end of the day, you can have the different piles and say these are the different categories. When we do something with energy, it's a lot less tangible. You can plug a meter in, but it's a number on a screen. You can't touch it, you can't feel it. So we want to, we kind of look at that at some of the higher grade levels. So hopefully over the course of a student's K-12 to career, they kind of uh, look at waste maybe in the elementary school levels, water in the middle school levels, and again, it kind of of energy or transportation in the high school level so they really get a complete picture of uh, sustainability and uh, their impact on the environment. I, I always love working at elementary schools. Uh, you know, the enthusiasm is something you don't see at, uh, at the, the higher grade levels for sure. Uh, so it could make it a challenge as well uh, but it's, it's always fun to do and it's fun to get the, the kids kind of uh, thinking and, and trying to come up with solutions as to exactly what they can do and not stuff that someone else can do somewhere, but stuff that they can do themselves here in the, in the school.